I think that one of the profound duties of the historian is to make intelligible a culture that is so foreign and different from their own. And it's amazing how quickly cultures change and move, how vibrant they are. And so that can be a very difficult task. And particularly, I think it's very hard when academic life is so often an insular and nebulous thing. We're stuck in offices reading very abstract uh, and, uh, and difficult texts. And it's very easy to become disconnected from the things that you're studying and to really lose a sense that somewhere and particularly for the ancient person, in a far removed past, these things happened, and that real people who live and breathe and walk in much the same way as, as we do, lived the experiences that we try to write or talk about and make intelligible to a listener in a classroom or a reader of a book. Archaeology is the type of thing you can't really learn by reading, in, you know, reading books. You learn archaeology by doing it. It's uh, unearthing or excavating uh, new evidence from antiquity, actual new material that contrib can contribute further to our understanding of the ancient world. The archaeology here is wonderful. Uh, the prehistoric stuff is absolutely fascinating. There's an awful lot of, um, sort of mystery and detective work involved. Um, you know, there's not too much in the way of additional textual information that we're likely to discover anytime soon. So archaeology offers us the opportunity to expand our knowledge of antiquity um, exponentially. Our research questions have been expanding each year. And so we started off really looking at the coast of, southern coast of Cyprus, seeing how trade sort of interact at this point? Is it, how is it interacting both locally, regionally, and globally? And so it's really cool to be studying uh, issues of identity in the late Roman period, looking at artifacts or wall painting and thinking, why would they have chosen this kind of, of artifact? How does this um, set them out from other communities or make them part of other communities? We've had great success in realizing that we've got different phases of the project that we've got Hellenistic, we've got Late Bronze, we've got Roman, we've got some parts that we're missing so far. This is our hypothesis for this year, that this is a later Roman wall, which is, or a Hellenistic wall, which has a late antique phase to it. First we did an archeological survey, then we did a geophysical survey. The combination of those two sets of evidence created specific questions that we could only answer through excavation. I have to continue around this rock, um, clearing off the dirt that's right on top of bedrock and then hopefully work over here a little bit but stop before we get to this foundation trench and then do that separately. Every once in a while, like in the day, we'll all of a sudden like realize, oh look, this is a fallen wall right here. You can see how it's all stuck together, and that's really cool to finally see how what we thought was just a pile of nothing is actually something. We, we get into a site and we open it up, and it's just like nothing you would expect at all back home. It's um, just tons and tons of things laying on the surface, getting plowed up. But it's kind of unfortunate that there's so much history, so much material culture here. You can't keep it all. Look at that. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Cool. And so by looking at the ceramic evidence, which is thousands, tens of thousands of shirts, even though they are, as you've seen, incredibly boring and small and broken, but that's allowed us to build an idea that we can then use other methods to sort of go down and learn more. With our trenches, we've answered all the research questions that we wanted to. And a lot of them were negative. Hopefully it means that we're asking the right kinds of questions, that we, we can actually get answers to them. I mean, we don't really know what was against this wall, right? But the ceramic evidence has allowed us to see that there are different phases to our one little area that we originally thought was just late Roman. Well, that's really interesting. It is interesting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I like this stuff. 
be able to exist in the spaces where the folks from late antiquity that I claim to study existed creates a kind of intimacy that I can look to when I write or when I speak about um, the subject matter that I'm interested in. And so in the broadest sense, the way that this contributes is that it gave me this much more intimate sense of the things that I'm studying.